I've been looking forward to this for a bit. Gilbert Burns fighting this Saturday, 21st of January. Definitely looking forward to it. If you saw his fight with Kamzat, I mean, there's plenty of other good fights, but <clears throat> but man, to me, that was... Uh, oof. You know, they released, the UFC released a free fight of that Kamzat versus Burns uh, about four months ago. There's like, I think it was 13 or 17 million views on it. <laughs> it's just... It is a brawl. It is just a great fight. I probably watched it five, six times at least. Well, more than that, actually. Five, six times recently. <laughs> it's just such a great fight. You can see that they're both, like, in. They're not playing. You know, one gets gets touched, gets rocked a little bit, and, the, and they're like, you know, the other one's like, look, come on, let's go. You know, and they just go. They're, oh, man. That's a great fight if you haven't seen it. You're missing something. You have to go go see it. It's on YouTube. It's a free fight from UFC. But uh, Gilbert Burns, you should know who he is. He's been around a long time. Submission grappler. He has many uh, silver and gold, a bronze, um, in all the big organizations. He's been in the UFC for quite some time. Serious guy. He's, he's fought a lot of good people. Uh, Durinho, I went and looked it up because I, I hear him called that all the time, but I didn't know what it means. It means tiny, tough guy. So that, that was pretty cool. It has to do with his brother because his brother's bigger and I forget which one's older, but they, I think they called his brother tough guy. So they named him the little tough guy cause he's shorter and a little bit smaller, but he is just in that comms out fight alone. But that's not, by no means the only one. But he's 20-5. and five. He's ranked number five in the UFC. He's fighting Neil Magny. Should, if you've been watching for a while, you should know who Neil Magny is. He's got a long career. He's ranked number 12. He's, he's been around a long time. Um, that card, UFC uh, 283, is in Brazil. So this is the first time I've been back to Brazil for quite a while. Uh, so looking forward to that, you know, Brazilian fans are, whew, you know, <laughs> I mean, if you go even all the way back to Hicks and Gracie fighting Zulu, you know, <laughs> and <laughs> if you've ever watched that fight from, oh gee, I don't know, probably early nineties, I believe it, I think it was in, I, gee, I can't remember. It might've been Pancrase. I forget. It's been a long time since I watched that fight. Unfortunately, the video is very bad. It's very dark and, you know, but it's it's crazy. Just YouTube, uh, Zulu versus Hicks and Gracie, and you'll, it'll come up. <laughs> it's great, great fight. But you can see, you know, even back then, you can see the size of the crowd, and they're going crazy, and they're really loud, and they're all into it. You know, it's, it's I don't know, some people think sort of it's only started recently but there was there was things even before the UFC was created or other things but um different different things like Pancrase that have been around for a long time many other organizations there's tons of them but good stuff definitely good stuff I'm looking forward to it you know the other thing is um I think sometimes or at least a, a little while back, Gilbert's kind of gone under the radar. It's maybe because of Kamzat being so popular that people, he's he's a little higher in the packing order now. But, you know, you take a look at his record here. I mean, he, he, he's got a win against Wonder Boy. He has a loss to Usman, but it's Usman. You know, I mean, that's, that's no big deal. You know, Kamara Usman is, you know, top of the food chain. He's got a win over Woodley, Damian Maya, Gunnar Nelson. Um, just trying to pick out some of the names you might know. Uh, Mercer recently won uh, PFL. Um, you know, so so there's a decent name. He has a loss to Dan Hooker, Dan Morat. He's got a win over um, Cowboy Ele Oliveira. He has a win over. Um, some of these other ones, you probably wouldn't know the names. I know some of them, but not a lot. But you look down his grappling record. Look, Rafael Lovato Jr., he has a win over. <laughs> that's that's pretty good win. 
Craig Jones, he has a loss to. Jake Shields, he has a win over. Sakuraba, he has a win over. Obviously, Sakuraba is a little older now. This is in 2019. Um, you look down, Gleason Tebow, <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty good win. Gregor Gracie, that's a pretty good win. Lost to Jake Shields. Crone Gracie, which is Hickson's son, he has a win over. I mean, by any standard, you put his MMA and his, and his grappling records together, and he's got some real solid stuff in there. I mean, that's a lot of experience with some top-level guys, you know? And then you watch the Hamzat fight, and you're like... I mean, granted, Hamzat didn't have a lot of high-level fights at that point, but I don't think it takes much watching Hamzat to know he's definitely a high-level and then you see Gilbert trading with him. Man, that fight's great. Go watch it. It's a great fight. And watch him this Saturday.